good afternoon. Uh, we are live from from the SAP Sapphire event here in Orlando. Uh, it's a fantastic event. You know, lots of customers, lots of crowd, a lot to talk about. Uh, today I have with me uh, one of VMware's executives, uh, Tom Herman, who is the VP of our Strategic Alliance Division. And what we would love to share is talk a little bit about uh, VMware's overarching strategy, um, you know, on about uh, the software-defined data center, as well as talk a little bit more about our relationship and our ecosystem and the partners. Uh, Tom, uh, could you share with the audience, you know, what's uh, What's, what's new with VMware, you know, what's the overarching strategy and how do we fit in uh, with our alliances? Absolutely, happy to run. Yes, yeah, so, so as you know, I mean, if you look at this type of event here at SAP Sapphire, well, we have such good alignment between our strategy and SAP strategy, right? And if you look at it from a VMware perspective, we're essentially trying to solve the same problem for customers. You know, they're very confused. You're talking about this cloud, that cloud, private, you know, uh, I mean, all the different different uh, things that they get hit with, right? So what we're trying to do is really simplify that for when we start talking about you know, one cloud, any app, uh, any device, really what that means is don't think about hybrid versus private versus you know, mega cloud. Think of it as one cloud and being able to look at where your workloads are and all the different things that we're trying to do, that mobility. Because customers, yeah, I think I read, I read a recent statistic that said that average uh, enterprise customer is running something like 19 clouds. So I mean, think about just that, wow. that confusion alone. Yeah. So yeah. between us and an SAP, we're trying to simplify that as much as possible. So this is where our SDDC strategy really ties into it as a foundation, right? If you look at what we've done with virtual compute historically, now with our virtual storage offerings or virtual networking offerings, that ties into this whole cloud notion. And then it provides the security, the reliability, the expandability to then move to any application being able to run on that foundation and having that be accessed from any device really is what customers are looking for. Does that, does, that, does that tie into like clear buckets that Pat always talks about, right? It's compute, yeah. network, Absolutely. and storage, and then on top of it, it's one cloud. Exactly, and that's when you roll down our end user computing strategy, things right. like that, right? So it's a really comprehensive strategy that we try to lay out for our customers to try to simplify things as much as possible. Now clearly we are at SAP, and SAP is a critical uh, uh, partner for us. Um, but, you know, we all know, and you know, definitely the audience and people who work with VMware know that uh, we've thrived on the ecosystem. And we, yeah, we're very, very proud about all the partners we have, and that's essentially how our production market are. Yeah. So how critical do you think the ecosystem play is for VMware, besides me just telling the audience? Yeah. Oh, it's, it's absolutely critical. I mean, VMware was born on the back of our partners. The ecosystem has historically been extremely, extremely powerful for us. I mean, if you look at the show alone, you look at all the logos and the banners up here, I don't know if you can see that on the video, but you know, just about everybody is one of our partners, right? We interact with, whether it's one of the system integrators, one of our big infrastructure partners, other ISVs, there's this huge ecosystem that we drive our solutions with and through, right? And with this community, and they're very excited. I mean, just all the meetings alone that we're having here, that the level of excitement around SAP, VMware together, all the things we can do, again, tying it back to the VMware strategy simplification for our customers, right. that's what it's all about right. for, for right. our partners. And it's, it's, again, it's not just lip service, right? I know there's a lot of uh, kind of apprehension in the marketplace with the, you know, some impending uh, merger and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. But I know that we are all committed to the ecosystem. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely, and, and yeah, in both uh, my Michael Dell, Pat Gelson, they have all made public statements yeah. around the yeah. importance of the ecosystem, right? right? It is critical for us. Yes, we're going to do a lot more with Dell as we would expect, but we expect all the other partners to step up and do the same thing. So it's a critical ecosystem. We want to grow it across the board. Excellent, excellent. Yeah. Thank you very much, Tom. Thank you Appreciate very much for your time. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. So we would now love to introduce you. Uh, the, Tom talked about uh, you know overall VMware strategy, you know how we fit in the ecosystem and how critical it is. I'd love to introduce uh, my colleagues here, uh, Dom Nicoliano, who is the lead uh, technical alliance uh, manager for the SAP Alliance at VMware. And Dom, a lot of exciting things happening this year. Absolutely, thanks for having Yeah. So first, let's talk about four terabyte HANA. Yes. Um, VMware now can, can proudly say we support or SAP supports. 4 terabyte HANA on vSphere 6 scale up, right? This is huge. Fantastic. 80 to 90 percent of the SAP customers out there really want that, wanted that two to three, maybe four terabyte uh, HANA database fully virtualized. Now they're they're good to go get it. Wait, so, wait, wait. That's huge. Oh, 80 it's massive. to 90 percent. Say it again. Say 80 it again. to 90 percent awesome. of our SAP customers out there, which is a couple hundred thousand customers out there, um, can now actually deploy fully virtualized HANA 
on vSphere 6 up to 4 terabytes. And why do they care? Why, why should we care on virtualizing on in the first place? Oh, well, it's the same reasons why we wanted to virtualize SAP, right? First of all, it's, it's ease of, of operations. We simplify our operations. We get to streamline our operations. We get to actually improve our TCO and our agility. So when you think about um, SAP, it's in a very expensive application to run. Right. It requires a lot of people to run it. And our customers, SAP's customers came to them and said, look, we don't have enough in our budget to continue running SAP and also do innovation things like HANA. So SAP, again, a number of years ago, started working with us, and we came up with a, with a model to get customers fully virtualized. Well, then HANA came along full force, and now customers want to continue that journey. So they started with fully virtualized SAP, now they want to fully virtualize HANA. And the other thing that it also brings is much better service levels. You talk about things like VMHA, vMotion, right? You combine that with HANA uh, system replication, and our customers and SAP's customers actually get this uh, much more robust set of functionality to improve their, their service levels. And it's not just VMware talking about this, right? I mean, oh, no. SAP and VMware are together in this, right? How strategic is this? <laughs> How critical is this? Well, first of all, this goes all the way up to the top, right? It right. goes all the way up to the top of SAP and the top of VMware. Our executives have been meeting uh, bi-monthly on this one topic. Um, we've been working together with SAP for just about a year over a year on this topic um, and yeah it's uh, we had actually dedicated from resources from SAP dedicated resources from VMware to get this done so it was definitely a joint team effort um, you mentioned the ecosystem and you know I will tell you it's gonna be done without one of our key hardware partners as well and they had given us a, a, a loaner system to help do our testing so really a lot of thanks go out to them as well it's, it's, it's all yeah it's all in the partnership yeah. now it doesn't stop at HANA no. There's a lot more this year than just HANA. Oh. Tell them. Uh, well, I'll talk about HANA just a little bit more, but it's our automation around SAP and HANA. So, obviously, a big part of realizing the TCO and the agility of, of SAP and HANA is to be able to automate it, manage it, provision it, do system copies, all those types of things. Well, we can now do all of that with HANA as well. In addition, we just added a new set of functionality called our day zero and day one automation, which is installing uh, S4 HANA, installing traditional HANA, adding nodes to HANA, um, doing upgrades for HANA, right. all automated using vRealize. Right. This is actually really, really exciting because, particularly for customers and service providers, this gets their time to value much faster. Much faster so we can right. do really, really good stuff yeah. out there. Yeah. yeah. And we are moving into virtual stand storage, and now with the mobility you know, offerings, I oh. think the future is just bright on this. Sure. So if you if you look at a, a part of VMware that a lot of our current SAP customers don't really focus on, and that's AirWatch, right? right. Yep. So we've got AirWatch out there, which is a, a mobile device management system. By the way, it's not just a mobile device; it's the leading market mobile device management platform out there. And to be to be very clear. A lot of SAP customers need that now. We heard about uh, some of the new announcements between Apple and SAP. Well, we could enable a lot of that through AirWatch. But we've got our own integration directly with SAP, uh, with success factors. We've been doing. We have a full integration with them. Uh, so for trusted trusted device or with um, with uh, device management, single sign-on, we can do all that. We're demonstrating that here at the booth. It's really really exciting. Great, great. And uh, can we share? I know there's. A lot of back activity happening, a lot of customer meetings, but can we share with our audiences anything about the, our existing customer base? I know Mercedes came came on board way back. Oh. They were one of the world first to virtualize HANA and do a lot of other things, but we have a lot many other people that we can talk about, right? Yeah, so the customers have been fantastic. We actually already have four customers live on four ter well on HANA on vSphere 6. They're all larger than one terabyte and um, We've got, uh, actually our own VMware IT went live, three right. systems uh, on May 1st. We eat our own dog food. Yes, VMware on VMware. Um, right. And uh, you're absolutely right, our own dog food. It was a great journey. We actually have the VMware IT guys here in the booth talking yes. about it. It's a great story. Um, we've got uh, Adidas that went live. We've got Schlumberger that went live. Right. And we have uh, Decathlon uh, as, as well. All of them went live successfully. They all went live uh, around the May 1st time frame, right. and they're they're absolutely pleased with not only the performance of HANA, but also the um, 
the support they got from SAP and VMware around going live. Great, so great. very, very good stuff. Fantastic. Lots happening. Yeah. Uh, again, you know, I'd like to connect back with the audience here. You know, as you can see, we are live from uh, the 2016 SAP Sapphire Now event in Orlando. And, uh, you know, we've, uh, there's so much exciting stuff happening. Uh, you know, please, definitely, you know, there's a lot happening. Go to VMware.com. You know, can get and find a lot more about our relationship with SAP and the solutions that we have to offer uh, with SAP uh, that are really exciting. And, again, you know, we just announced just yesterday that we are now live GA in production with SAP HANA on vSphere 6 up to 4 terabytes to scale up. So, signing off, uh, thank you, Dominic, thank you, Tom. Uh, we would thank like you. to sign off from uh, Sapphire. Thanks for joining us.